Okay, so in this video, we're going to create a Steiner point to construct a minimum network. So you can see here we have a triangle which represents a network with three nodes. And as it is now, there's a circuit in the network. We could make the network more efficient by removing one edge to break the circuit. And if we take the most expensive edge away, we are left with the two cheaper edges, which gives us what's called a minimum spanning tree. And we can see that 10 plus 6 is 16 centimeters. That is the minimum spanning tree. But we want to do even better than that. So we're going to look at our network and construct a Steiner point to create a minimum network. Now, this only works if every angle of the triangle is less than 120 degrees. And we can see that this angle is near 90 or maybe even equal to 90. So the other two have to be acute. And we've satisfied that every angle is less than 120 degrees. Let's go on to constructing our minimum network. The first step is to create an equilateral triangle along one of the sides of your triangle. And I am going to choose the shortest side, six centimeters, so that it takes up the, le the least amount of space on my drawing board. Now, just to show you, these digital tools allow me to measure and construct as though we were on paper. So I've measured all of these sides out. They are six centimeters, 10 centimeters, and 11.7, and the angle is very close to 90. So to construct our equilateral triangle, we're going to bring our compass, put the metal point of the compass on one uh, of the points of the six centimeter side. We're going to open up the compass so that it spans the full length. I'm going to change its ink color to red. And we will scribe an arc here. And in doing so, we're going to construct an equilateral triangle. Now we'll take the metal point, move it to the other endpoint of side AC. I have my compass set back up onto the length of side AC. We'll scribe an arc from the opposite side. And where these two intersect is where we will place a point, And that point will complete our equilateral triangle. So now I'm going to connect the point with A and C. Let's give this point a name. We'll call it D. And I'm going to delete these arcs out. I don't need them anymore. And there's our triangle ACD. It is an equilateral triangle. Each of these sides will also be six centimeters now. So you can see we have a six centimeter side, six centimeter side, and the other side will also be six centimeters. So now that we have our equilateral triangle, we would like to find the circumcenter of the triangle. That is a point at the center that allows me to draw a circle that circumscribes this triangle. So to do that, we use perpendicular bisectors. But since it is an equilateral triangle, the median and the, e and the perpendicular bisector are the same segment. I'm going to use a shortcut and measure the midpoint And then you just connect the midpoint to the vertex opposite. And that would be the median, which is also the perpendicular bisector when we are discussing equilateral triangles. OK, so we need at least two of these perpendicular bisectors to find their point of intersection. So let's mark the midpoint of another side, and then draw a segment from the midpoint to the vertex. So 
So with these cross, that will be the circumcenter of the equilateral triangle. Let's put a point there. And now if I draw a circle with this point as the center and the radius to point C, that circle's radius should allow us to hit points D and A also. So let's get our circle tool. And drawing a circle is much the same as using a compass. So there's our circle that goes through all three of the vertices centered here at the circumcenter. Now we want to take point D and point B and connect them. Those are the two vertices that are opposite of AC. When we connect those two, their intersection with the circle will locate the Steiner point. So there's our Steiner point. Now our next step is to connect the Steiner point to points C, A, and B. So before we do that, let's get rid of all of the other parts of the construction so that we'll have an easier view of our new network. And let's measure the branches of our network and see if we beat that 16 centimeter minimum spanning tree. So it looks like from the Steiner point to point C is about 4.5. from our Steiner point to point B is about 8.5. And our Steiner point to A is about 2.2. add these all up, we get 15.2. So we found the weight of the minimum network, and it is through a Steiner point, which we call a Steiner network, and this is the solution to the problem.